Hi, this is part two of setting up your site in Revit. Okay, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to delete this little site that we drew here. Okay, the next step is to import, um, it's actually link, it's, uh, it's not import, it's to link the engineer's, um, not engineer, sorry, surveyor's drawing into your Revit drawing. So we're going to go ahead and click there. I'm going to find the drawing. Okay, I'll leave that unticked. Um, I use custom factor, one in one, and um, let's go black and white. Okay, bring the drawing in. It's very important that you are in sight level. Okay, now there's two ways to, to do this. You can either, if your if your CAD drawing, if the surveyor gives you a CAD drawing where the lines actually have level levels in the DWG file, you can um, you can use create from import and at, it will actually assign levels uh, that it would find in the DWG drawing to the site that you're creating. Okay, the drawing I've got is flat. Um, I normally prefer it that way. What I do is I actually go and I take place points and type in the actual level of the contour. So if we look at this contour, uh, 2424, I then actually just go ahead and click on the contour, put, put points down on the contour, and I do this for the whole site. Um, it is a very time consuming job. But once you've done that, you know that the site is accurate. Um, and it actually reflects the reality of what was done with the GPS survey um, in, in real time. This is the end of part two. Uh, join us later for part three.